Hello YouTube and welcome to another Proxmox tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to reduce the Proxmox backup file size. So are you ready? Let's get started. So here as you can see I'm logging to my Proxmox server. Okay. So in order to illustrate the backup process here and to reduce the backup file size, I'm gonna actually do that in a test VM okay so if I go to my list of VM let's take for example this test VM which is actually a PyHole Linux virtual machine which has an ID 109 and I'm gonna show you the process okay so if I click on it and if I go to the hardware section here as you can see I have here a SCSI controller and the hard disk size as you can see here is 8 gigabytes okay so let's connect actually to this uh, virtual machine and show you its IP address so actually the IP address of this machine so actually the IP address of this machine is as you can see here 192.168.100.105 okay so as I told you let's see actually the root partition size so in order to do that I'm gonna issue the command df minus h so as you can see here the f the actually the root partition has uh, total size of 6.1 gigabytes as you can see here and the other 2 gigs or actually 1.7 gig is reserved to actually the boot partition okay but that doesn't matter here I'm gonna show you actually the file size of the backup if we backup this virtual machine so in order to backup this virtual machine it's pretty easy you go to the backup section here as you can see and I'm gonna actually choose where the backup will reside so here you can see in the list of storage we can actually uh, put this backup in a storage name called storage which is local storage or I can put it on my Proxmox backup server so here I will just store it in the storage here okay so let's click on this button backup now and we kept actually the default we don't have to change anything so for the storage the storage name is ox actually storage for the compression i will use the default which is fast and good okay and let's launch this backup and see the file size of this virtual machine okay here we go the process actually began and here you can see the actually uh, disk size which is as I told you it's 8 gigabytes okay so here you can see different read and writes so it depends on the blocks if it contains data the read will actually be uh, actually the file size will be big but if the block size doesn't contain any data you can see here the megabytes per second is actually fewer Okay, so let's uh, wait for the process to finish in order to get the full file size of this backup. So finally you can see here the task is OK which means the backup has been finished. So let's get rid of this window here. And here we go, here you can see the full name of this backup and also the file size which is here as you can see 3.75 gigabytes so the full size of our backup remember is 3.75 okay but the disk size is actually 8 gigabytes but this is normal because the backup is actually compressed and deduplicated okay so now I will connect to my uh, actually virtual machine using SSH here we go I'm connected so as I told you the file size or the file size of the root partition doesn't actually changed here 
we are using 4.2 gigabytes of 6.1 gigabytes okay so let's just create for example a random file which has a size of 1 gig and put it in this root partition okay so in order to do that I will use the famous command uh, actually dt command so this is the command that allows you to create a file so here I choose as an output file I call it random which has a size of 1 gig okay so let's create this file in our root partition here so of course we need the sudo command in order to execute this command here we go let's input our password and let's wait for the file to be created okay okay so we have copied a random file that contain actually a random data to our root partition so let's verify once again using the command df minus h so h means human readable here we go and this time as you can see we have increased the use space by one because before the use space was as you can see here 4.2 gigabytes and now as we have added one gig of our random file we have now 5.2 gigabytes okay and let's do a list in order to see if indeed we have our file which is actually called random so here we go this is our file called random which contains actually one gig of random data okay so now let's do once again the backup so normally the backup will be bigger than the old one so the first one was 3.75 and now let's do second backup and hopefully it will be big because we have added one gig of random data so let's effect you this backup now so our not changed settings so let's backup it once again and see the file size in this case okay okay so as you can see the task is okay so the backup has been finished let's see this time the file size so as you can see the file size has increased due to the file that we have added so now it's 4.45 gigabytes okay so till now everything is normal okay so let's go to our ssh console and this time i will delete this random file here so let's delete it so in order to delete the file which is called random simple as issuing command rm and of course my file which is random here we go so our answer here yes so same issue we have to issue the command sudo okay so the file has been removed let's do df minus h here we go so now space used has decreased by one so we have 4.2 once again okay so everything is okay so now let's do another backup and normally here i should get actually the first one which is 375 because we have deleted uh, one gig of file from actually the root system so let's do once again a backup and see the file size that we get okay the task is okay so let's get rid of this window as you can see here the backup file size doesn't change even if we have deleted our one gig byte of the file that we have added so we still get 4.45 gigabytes why is that simply because the hypervisor which is in this case proxmox 
don't see the deleted space from our VM. So we have deleted one gig of random file, but when we did once again a backup, the file size of the backup didn't change because, as I told you, Proxmox don't see this change. So in order to let Proxmox see this change and the by the way also reduce the file size, we have to do two things, okay? So first we have to go to the hardware section of our virtual machine and we have to go to our hard disk here. So we have here our hard disk, so we double click on it or we edit it. Here we go. And we have to enable a function as you can see here called discard, okay? So you have to enable this discard checkbox, okay? So when you click on this discard checkbox, it will actually allows Proxmox to see the deleted space. So you have to click on OK. But the most important thing here is you have to reboot actually your machine. So let's do that from the command prompt actually. So I'll issue the command shutdown minus H now in order to stop the VM. Okay. Okay, so you can see here our VM has been stopped. We don't have this uh, green arrow, which means the virtual machine is up. So let's start it once again. So I'll just right and click on it and hit start. And I will wait for our test machine to be up. And also let's connect to it via SSH because we have also to run a special command. So let's try to connect to our virtual machine. Here we go, we have the prompt. Okay, I am in. I have also to execute the command, very important one. So let's forget the sudo command. So the command that actually I will also issue in order to get the reduced backup file size is fstream minus v for verbose and I will launch that on the root system, okay? Here we go, everything is streamed now. So normally now, when I'm gonna affect you actually a backup, hopefully the file size will be actually minimal or reduced. So let's go to our backup now. So for our last backup, it was 4.45 gigabytes. So let's launch now after enabling the discard actually option and see the backup size, how it will be actually in this time. Because now we have allowed our Proxmox to see the deleted space from our file system on our VM, okay? Okay, the task is okay, so let's get rid of this window. And as you can see now, we have just 3.22 gigabytes of file size. So we have successfully optimized our backup path by reducing actually the file size of the file of the backup, okay? So you can see how easy it is to optimize your backup by reducing the size, okay? Using just to check the discard uh, actually checkbox on your hard disk and also issuing the command file system trim, okay? So that was just a brief video to show you how to optimize your Proxmox backup using actually this trick here, okay? So if you found this uh, video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content. And of course, if you have any suggestion for future videos, drop them in the comment below. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing. Bye-bye.